Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. Hello? You're still live, I, I presume, right? Yes, we are live. Are you almost there, my friend? Well, I I don't really have an answer for that, to be honest. I was raised one. Okay, so you are a Muslim, but you don't know if you are a Muslim. So what I was, what I was saying, you are a Muslim or not? I'm not sure. Okay, so... What I'm sure of yep. is yeah. what, when you were talking about the devil... Um, um, urinating in people's noses and, and mouth and ears and that that stuff used to scare me so much as a child and to be honest i was listening to you for years now and all right. i just had the courage to talk to you today to be honest all right so is, like does that mean you like you are confused about islam because you are listening to me N i'm not confused i think it's it's a cult I okay, so, do. but let me be there, change the question. Like, did you come to the conclusion Islam is a cult because you listened to me for years? Many reasons. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman myself. I am a mother of women, All right. of, of girls as well. Okay. And I don't think all these things and, 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 and going to heaven to be a sex slave is not something I want for myself or my daughters. I understand. You know? All right. So, and, and so why you don't say I'm out of Islam? I mean, why you are confused still? I mean, if you don't want to be a sex slave as a, no, lady, as a female, then just denounce Muhammad and say, okay, Muhammad, obviously, he is a devilish person. He is satanic. I have I, I've denounced Muhammad a long time ago. Oh, okay. That's good. Him, yes. Then you should not say, you should not say, I'm not sure, you know, when I ask you, and should say, okay, I'm not a Muslim no more. I lived. Yeah. All right. But... I wanted to ask you about this, the, the right hands, because you were discussing the two right hands of God. Mm. And, and that also is, 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 is written in the Quran. Every Muslim believes that God only has right side. And I don't understand. Is he disabled according to, to Islam? You see, uh, uh, I, I, like for me, I can take it uh, in different measure. I say, okay, you know what? The right side present the right direction. You know, always the word right present right left mm -hmm. present in, a, in the in the manner of religion the word right present the, the right path the right uh, believe the right uh, way you know and the left is the wrong one so i can take it this way no problem but this is god you see but that's not how they say it they literally say his right hand and his, and his fingers in his right hand and his leg that he puts in hell and it's just so and the way they speak about an, an almighty that I'm supposed to love, it, the, the Quran is actually, okay, I have this fear of not calling it the book of God, but at the same time when I read it, I'm thinking it's demeaning God so much. Yeah, well, you know, th this is not a book of God for many reasons, not because right and left. I mean, the whole Quran is, is, is wrong. The whole yes. story is wrong. I mean, from the beginning, from the first page to the last page. I always, I change the Muslims. You call me and tell me any chapter you want, and I will find you tons of mistakes in any chapter you choose. For me, the most, the most aggressive thing is, is the hate of everybody and the hate of the women who are already Muslims. Yeah, There's like when Muhammad, hate. he said that a woman, she, ad she advanced in the image of shaitan and she live in the image of shaitan. Why? What she did? A woman, she walked by in the front of his house and Muhammad got horny. He went to his wife, he had sex with her, he forced her into sex, even though she is working, she was tanning leather. So imagine a woman, she is sweating, she is boiling water, putting leather, and now, 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 he want to have sex. And even Muhammad, he says that the angels will curse the women if her husband, he asked her to come to bed and she refused, even if he asked her to do it in the top of a saddle of a camel. So this man is very sexual, you know, and he, he, he abused women, and because what he cared for is the men who want to fight for him. Women, they are followers. They are not leaders at that no. time, at least. So uh, all what he cared for 
how he can make them the, the, the men uh, uh, like what he is saying. So now I will give you the power over women. You can beat them. You can, you know, you can uh, have many of them. You can insult them. You can torture them. And the Muslim, they, they lie. They say, the Prophet says, beat them lightly. But no, we, no. But, but I, we, I, witnessed, I witnessed women in, in our culture being beaten, and it is not lightly. Uh, it is not lightly. I have, I have, I know a person that lost her eyes through a beating, both her eyes. Yeah, I, we, actually, we have a story from the from the uh, uh, Sahih Hadith that the woman she came to Aisha, and her clothing uh, it was a green, and her sk skin was a greener than her clothing from beating. In the time of Muhammad, what Muhammad did, he took the side of the man, and he never even questioned the man why even you beat her severely like this. He took his side, and actually he gave him a verse says. Your women are you are in charge of women, so beat them, you know, uh, uh, like admonish them, jail them in their rooms, and beat them. Oh! And uh, the the story in front of us in Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number uh, uh, forty-two, book number mm -hmm. seventy-seven. So the story clearly, Aisha, she said uh, that the woman she was, a lady she came to uh, wearing a green veil, and she complained to her to Aisha, and she showed her beating, she showed her skin caused by beating and it was saying here she saw her spot green spot in her skin it was a habit that, look how the muslim explain how the, how the women support each other supposedly it was the habit of ladies to support each other this is not because the man is bad no 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 but this is because ladies support each other so when allah messenger came aisha she said i have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman can Muslim they say that Aisha she is a liar? No. According to this, the most suffering women is Muslim women. And she continues saying, look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. And then you read the rest of the story, you will see Muhammad taking the side of the man against the women. Always. The thing is that that was a turning point for me. Is also Aisha is, is guilty in that sense. Um, the rape of Zainab, um, of, of the rabbi's daughter. Um... That was that was a horrific story for me, and they they tell it as as if it's a, an accomplishment. You just killed her father and brother and husband. Yeah, you're talking about Sophia. Sophia, yes. Yeah. Um, and I didn't see any of his wife come to defend her, or any of the men. And then this well, happened. You know, he and killed all her tribes, and then she became his sex slaves. What she can do, you know. And those women, I mean, those women, at the end of the day, they knew that this guy is a beast. You know, anyone who go against him, he will end dead. Who you know who there. That was literally the turning point for me and and these kind of stories that like the one you were telling when they go to heaven an endless um organ yeah who needs that i i it, it makes no sense in in a human mind who needs that why would you want to look like that why would you want why would i want to go to heaven where i don't see my husband for 70 plus years and when he comes back to me i'm only there for that reason and then again, seventy plus years. What what do I do there? What do I exactly do there? No, not seventy. What's actually, you will stay uh, uh, when a, when a husband he sleep with his wife. You will stay for a couple of thousand of years until you return, come back again. Because you see, when the Muslim they speak about seventy two women, seventy two women, each one of them have seventy two maid, and each maid she have seventy etc. So like you know, so the number increase like you know like uh, double and double and double and double and seventy time. So you will end with thousands of women and the man. And then if you calculate, even the Muhammad, he says that the man in heaven, his orgasm will take 70 years, just the orgasm alone. That will kill him. That's phys physiology. Let, let us not, you know, who care about killing him. But it, I mean, but, but you notice here how much sexuality is yes. very focused in this religion because it is a sex cult, you know? This is, this is for me, this is why I called you because I needed confirmation that I'm not, like in my head, I'm an educated woman. I'm, I'm, I'm in my head. I'm thinking this does not make sense, and I don't want to go to that heaven. But it, it, I want a heaven to go to because I, I grew up believing. So it. what do I you do think about that. Christianity? As long you know, like now you agree with me that Muhammad is a fraud. What do you think about Jesus then? I have, um, I don't, I've never heard a bad story about him. He, he's never sexualized a woman like that. Um, okay, and he Jesus, believes, Jesus, not only. You know, Jesus, he was out of his time because we are talking about 2,000 years ago, you know, 
how oh, always yeah. women is looked down at, you know, in every society, especially in the Middle East. So, uh, but Jesus, he did not do that. Actually, only in Christianity, mm -hmm. Christians, they have a unique story about Jesus that he himself, who is our Lord, is born of a woman. Born of a woman. So how yeah. much honor a woman she can have in anywhere, you know? You will not see any Christian can dare to, uh, like, disrespect Mary. But Mary is a woman. At the end of the day, she is a woman. She is not God. She is a woman. So if God himself, he chose to be born of a woman, then what's wrong with the women? And Jesus himself, when he spoke about the women, he forbid the, 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 the Christians, the one who listened to him, that if you want to marry, you marry only one woman. Why you want to have right. two and three and four? And divorce became very hard because divorce became a joke for many. And like now, people, they get divorced in two seconds. I mean, in Islam is the same. Islam actually was advanced in divorce before any other uh, cult and any other, uh, you know, religion, uh, pagan religion, because Islam make divorce just one statement, one word. You know, the guy, he said, you're divorced, that's it, you're done. And, yeah, that's, that's ruined a lot of families. Yeah. Um, I've seen so happen. Jesus, he made that you know very hard. Divorce is very hard, and I, I, if you do a little search in you know uh, about that, you will see how difficult for Christians to get divorce uh, if they are following the Bible. If they are not, yeah, divorce is so easy. And the second, you are not following. That's mean you can do anything you want. So in Christianity, even when they ask Jesus about uh, what what the women what the man will have in heaven like you know this, this woman she married this guy and that guy and that guy when she die who is going to have her so the jews they are thinking about her as an inheritance you know even in heaven so jesus he said he and she they will not get married they will be the same as angels so in heaven you and me we will be equal it doesn't matter if you are male or a female i will not get reward more than you and you will not get re reward less than me your gender is not the reason for you how to be rewarded. So, uh, uh, with Christ, you know, women is respected. Women have a value. Even uh, even Jesus, he said, that when the man, he get married, he leave his parents, and he become one with his wife. One. So, in a Christ, you have a marriage. Your marriage is unity. It's not, it's not a contract of sex like Muslims. Yeah. You know, so yeah. That also that also broke my heart, knowing that my my contract to my ex husband was not contract of marriage; it was contract of the act. Yeah, there's no marriage in Islam. There's no marriage, right? It, it was it was aqd yes, yes, yes. It broke my heart because it yeah, just made me feel like like a prostitute in a sense. Exactly with a contract. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, uh, this is what uh, this religion is. Uh, if we can call it a religion, it is, uh, and, and the reason it is very sexual, uh, because in Muhammad he is trying to attract the customers who they are men, you know, men. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he want uh, he want fighters. He don't want uh, disciples like uh, preach peace and love and mercy. You know, uh, Jesus said, "Love your enemy." You do not. You do not need uh, criminals. You know, even even his just to understand what kind of companion he have, they accuse even their prophet that he stole an underwear. What? I did not know that. Yeah, like you know, if you go in the Quran, it says "Linabiyan and Yagul." Yagul means to steal, to be a thief. So right. imagine, uh, 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 you know, like imagine you have a you have the highest person in the world as uh, ethic. You know, ethics, suppose. The Muslims, they say that, right? They say that Muhammad is the most uh, noble man in the world. Yes. Yeah. But then we found that the Muslims accusing their prophet that he stole an underwear. And this underwear is stolen. They themselves, they stole it. They attack people. They took their, 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 their stuff, their furniture, their clothing, their animals. And now they are fighting over the theft. So if you go in the Quran, in chapter uh, 3, verse number 161, it says, It is not for any prophet to embezzle. <laughs> Whoso embezzles will bring what he embezzles with him in the day of resurrection. So, that was over in underwear? Huh? This um, verse, was it over in underwear? 
You know, the Muslim, they say over a piece of a, of a velvet, red velvet. I see. But it's an, you know, I mean, it's a it's a piece of clothes, whatever it is, you know, underwear, socks, panty, I don't know, you know, but it's it's a, it's an, this clothes, you know. But here you ask yourself, imagine John or Peter accusing Jesus that he stole socks. Oh! No. <laughs> It never happened. I've never heard. <laughs> you know that would be hilarious, yeah. isn't it? But this is telling us the quality. You know what's more hilarious is that uh, the Almighty would talk about that in in a Quran that we're supposed to be reciting to the end of days. Why would he even interfere in such? No, not only. Let's look at look how silly this verse. They are accusing him that he took the panty. Shouldn't Allah he say who took it? Right. You know, absolutely. Like yes. if you watch, uh, if you watch uh, Detective, what's his name? This guy, funny guy, the short guy, uh, the Columbus, Columbus. Like when he's leaving from the door, he say one more, one, one, one more thing. You know. So where is Allah here, the, the, the Columbus? I mean, come on, they accuse the prophet that he stole the underwear. Allah is all knowing. This is what the Muslim they say. He know the unseen. Why Allah did not tell who took the panty? Actually, this verse confirmed that the one who took it is Muhammad. Wow. Because he could but, not tell us his God. Supposedly the one is talking is Allah, not Muhammad. So if Muslim they say, well, Muhammad do not know who took it. He's a human. But the one is talking here is Allah. Shouldn't Allah say, okay, you know what? You accuse my prophet falsely. Go to the end, go to the drawer of this guy to his bedroom, or let this guy take off his pant, and you will see the clothes there. Can't he do that? He could not. Of course. Because simply the one who took it for real is Muhammad, and and, and Columbus is way smarter than Allah. This verse confirm that Muhammad is the thief, not the opposite. And confirm so other, other thing, the quality of the companion, because what kind of companion? I mean, aren't you ashamed to accuse your prophet that he stole it? What kind what kind of gang he have? You know, like you, you watch those movies like a bunch of a drunken pirate, you know, the part of the Caribbean. They have no dignity, they have no ethic, or this they are pirate. And this is telling us that Muhammad and his companion, they have no dignity and they are just a bunch of pirates. And not only that, actually the Muslim, they agree that Muhammad was a pirate. If you go and search on the internet, you will see how they call it Ghazwa. How many yes, times Muhammad he did Ghazwa? You will see how many. Ghazwa, what they do? They attack the caravan of people in the street and they steal their, 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 their clothes, their, their stuff, their animals, their money. That's right. Yeah. However, Muslims, um, you know, um, admire the Sahaba, the, the companions, sometimes more than the Prophet himself. Like the way they speak about Omar, for example, much more. Um, yeah, you know, Omar he killed uh, he killed Fatima and he caused her to have uh, this courage, you know, and yet they they, they still worship Omar, the, the Sunni. More than more than Muhammad, yes. Yeah, yeah. But let me ask you, you know, as long you agree with me that Islam is really false, and you agree yes. that Jesus, there is nothing negative about him. What do you think about? Jesus as Lord as Savior for you. If there's a questions for you, I can help you with. For me, I I I don't know what can give me a heaven that I'm pleased with. What because I've been calling God Allah the whole time, and for me Allah honestly it means Al Ilah. But I've been mm. listening to you as well saying that no, it is the Moon God, and I've known, for example, my grandmother was Christian. My grandmother was Catholic, right? Mm. And I heard her say Allah as mm. to, to, to talk about God. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to call God now? Um, yeah, let me let me explain to you. You see, your grandmother, she is, I can tell you speak Arabic, correct? Yes, I do. All right. So your grandmother, she's an Arab. They live between the Arab and they are using the same word the Arab using. But Allah is not our God. We cannot find the word Allah. In, in in the Bible anywhere you can find the word Ilah the one you mentioned but Ilah let me put it in the screen just to show you so we can understand the language together if we go I will make a white screen here let's see all right uh, I don't know if you can see my screen now you can look okay yeah so you know the the Aramaic is the origin language of everything in Arabic there's nothing is called Arabic actually Arabic is not even a language by itself even though now look look like it, but if you go in details, you will find there's no Arabic in the Arabic. But if you if we try to write the word uh, al ilah, al, yeah. you know, 
Al in Arabic, when we say Al, usually it means that, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. And then it is Ila. Yeah. Okay. And there is a sound which is H. Yeah. But this yeah. is not really part of the word. It's like, a, you know, to give a tone. So, Il is the word which is used for God in the Aramaic language. And However, in Hebrew, yeah. And in Hebrew, yeah. The origin is Aramaic, even from the Hebrew. Even the Hebrew. Remember, Abraham is the father of who? Of the Jews, correct? Absolutely, yes. And Abraham came from where? From the land and of the Aramaic-speaking people, correct? That's right. So, Arak. it's normal that he is using Aramaic language. So, mm -hmm. Il is the new, actually, Hebrew, the origin Hebrew, or the older, it was Al. So Israel was not Israel, it was Israel. Al. Al mm -hmm. means God. Al is a word meaning God. It's not a name of God, same as Il. Mm -hmm. It's not a name of God. It's a word. It can be used even for any God, you know, like Il, God. God. Like now, in English you say God. A Hindu person, he say the same word God. Uh, uh, a person who worship maybe stars, he called them God. So it's a word. Mm -hmm. Il Al is God. This is why we say Baal. You know, Baal, Baal Al. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he is God. God, uh, uh, this God, uh, it have nothing to do with us. He is the God of fertility. So Al is a is a word mean God, and Allah. If you ask any Muslim, and you used to be a Muslim, and your mm -hmm. family are Muslims, Allah is a name. Is not a word mean God. Do we agree? Yes, and yes, I, I agree, but at the same time, whenever I ask that question, even when I was little, um, so how did Al Ilah become Allah? And then they're like, no, 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 it just means the God. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so what's his name then? Because okay. all I have is attributes. Yeah, let, me, let me explain to you. You see, Allah is not the same as Al Ilah. If you go to chapter two, chapter yeah. two, sorry, chapter one, verse number two, and as long as you speak Arabic, it says, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, correct? Yeah. So what we have, we have li and we have lah, not ilah. Yeah. So the confusion happening because you are mixing between ilah, il, and lah. So lah. what's lah? Lah is the name of the God. Lah is the moon God. You can search it right now in Google. So even in the Quran it says, like if I go right now, let me see in, in, the, in the Muslim website, they have a way, uh, like you know, like you can pronounce in English the, the letters, uh, what they call it. Let us see, translation. I think translation. Yeah, let us see the translation. How it's going to be? All right. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a funny translation. Let us see the other one, number two. Ah, see, this is the Muslims. They are breaking the word from Arabic into uh, Latin letters. So, Alhamdu, Alhamdu, mm -hmm. Li, Li mean two. And then they say, Lahi. Yeah. But, you know, the, the, those tashkil, they are added later. There's nothing that's called tashkil in the Quran. Like Lahi, this is a tashkil, this is not a letter. So, we have to take it only Lah. So, okay. Alhamdulillah, li mean to, what is it, to who? To lah, not to ilah. Huh? And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Okay, he is the, he is the, he is the, uh, the Lord of, uh, Rabb is an, is an Aramaic word too. Even mm -hmm. the Hebrew use it too, which means like Rabbi, Master, you know, Rabbi. Yeah. Uh, so, Alhamdulillah, and thanks to lah, the Lord or the Master of the two worlds. Okay. Who is La? It's not Allah now. You see, the word in the top it says, Bism Li La. Do you see it? This is the Muslim trying to teach you how to pronounce it. But for you, you speak Arabic, do not need it. But just for people to see. So, uh, uh, in, in the first one in Arabic, it says here, Bismillah, and the, uh, Allah is written differently. There is Aleph, there is letter A in the beginning. Here the letter is gone. There is no letter in the second one. If we zoom, you will see there is different between them. There is one letter missing in the beginning. Do the people that wrote this, do they know this? Like no, the no, you, see, and you see the, the Quran obviously never was in Arabic. Quran is not an no. Arabic book. There is somebody, he made this book trying to make it 
as it is today, but the origin of Quran cannot be in Arabic. And there is many, many proof of that, you know. Uh, but this is more complicated. Actually, I will, I will, I will speak about that in my coming book, uh, okay. which is going to be very, very good for many people to, to earn a lot of information about uh, how, how uh, Islam is born and born of what. Uh, but if we focus here with us, you are focusing in the name of God, right? Yeah. But the name for me is not important. You see, when God, he, uh, when Moses, he asked God in the Bible, he says to him, what I will call you, what I will tell my my, my people, you know, okay, you are God, you are my creator. Uh, so what I will tell you, what I will tell them, you know? So he said to him, I am who I am. God did not give him, give a name. And even though the Bible used it as a name, like in a Christian, they say to you, well, this word is a name, the name of God. This is how a God he presents himself to. Uh, if you go to Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, so I am who I am. But uh, because people read it in the, in, the, in the foreign language, which is the Hebrew, they think it's really a name. But this is not really a name. God is telling us that he is the one who is exist without anyone to make him exist. I am the one who exists by myself. So I am who I am, but we don't follow a name. We follow God. We don't follow a name because anyone can claim the name. And that's mean he is God. Like now, when we say uh, we believe in Jesus, right? But if you go to uh, Mexico, you will find people, they call themselves Jesus. Right? Yeah, that's It's right. a popular name. Yes. So does that mean we worship them? No, we don't follow the name. We follow the person, the name, we don't follow. And the name of the Messiah, the, the, the real name, is Yeshua. But we don't care really for the name as much we care for the person. The name is how he identified between the people he was with. But mm -hmm. the one we follow is the Messiah who did all those things, who came in the time of those disciples, not the name. Because the Lord, he says to us, many, many false teachers will come. Be aware, you know, of false teachers, they will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they're wolves. So they can take the name. And there is many actually came after the Messiah and they claim to be the Messiah. Many, maybe hundreds, maybe not, maybe thousands. We do not know how many. So until now, like even now, I think there's somebody he claimed that he's the Messiah. So uh, there is Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. He claimed to be the yes. Messiah, correct? So yes. we do not need <clears throat> to, to focus in the name as much mm -hmm. we focus in the person. So let us say the Muslim, they change the name of their God. And they call him Yahweh or Yahweh. But that will not make their God our God. It's not the name. Imagine, uh, like you have... Uh, 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 you know, a car made in France, a Bijou, and then you put mm -hmm. Mercedes Benz on your car, but doesn't make your car Mercedes, correct? No, it does not. Yeah, it's that so <coughs> Muslims they stole many names. <coughs> sorry, my voice. <coughs> so the Muslim they stole many voice, many, sorry, many, many names, and he, they put them in their book, but still their religion is not ours and their God is not ours, even though they say we believe in Mary, he will go there, Mary. We have Mary too, but yeah. obviously it's not the same Mary. In the Quran, Mary, she is the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? It's not. <laughs> she is yeah. the sister of Aaron, and she is the sister of Moses. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's it's a messed up. And, uh, you know, the God of the Bible from the beginning, if you go from the beginning of the Bible, you see God in his spirit. So from the first verses in the Bible, it says that God, he have a spirit. The Muslims, they deny that God is a spirit. But the Jews and the Christians, they agree that, yes, God is a spirit. So uh, uh, we, what we care for is not the name. However, I reject to use the name because the name of the God of Islam is proving to be the moon God. Even though the Quran says, don't worship the moon. But the moon God is not worshiping the moon. It's the moon God, not the moon. You know what I mean? So wow. if I say the God of the earth does not mean we worship the earth. That's right. It's like it's like Greek mythology, a god yeah. of something. So if I say the the the, the god of uh, uh, the god of sex doesn't mean we worship sex. He's god of sex, you know. Mm -hmm. He's god of sex. So he is the one in control of something. So the god, this god, the Muslim, they worship. They stole the name from ancient language, and if we search it, we will find in two seconds that La is the moon god. And not only that, <clears throat> you know that a Muslim they go to the Kaaba, correct? That's right, yeah. And in I the hate Kaaba, it, yeah. And, verses of the kid. 
I don't know why. You I went, never you, liked... did, did you go to the car by yourself? Yeah, they, okay. took, they took me. Um, I was a kid. I hated it. I hated the crowdedness. I hated the noise. I hated the um, aimless running of grown-ups <laughs> that means nothing. Yeah. And, and how I, dirty it is. If you look at yes. the pictures in Mecca, you will see how dirty the city. You know? I never belonged. I very knew savage, I never very belonged. savage. Yeah, but I, I want to talk about here something important. Okay. You know, the, in, in the Kaaba, there is something called al ruknul yamani the, yes. Yemeni, the Yemeni corner. Let us put it in the yes. screen so people, they can see it. If you ask the Muslims, what Yemeni corner? Yemeni means the corner of Yemen. Okay. That's right. Why it's called your corner of Yemen? Uh, the Muslims, they start giving you ideas, like uh, maybe it's facing you on. But in fact, the reason for this corner to be called a Ruknul Yemeni, Yemeni, because simply those stones who look different, they are taken from the temple of Al Makkah from Yemen. Al Makkah is the same name of Mecca. In the language of Yemen, the Ka is pronounced as Qa. Wow. So the nice. temple of Al Makkah is not really in Mecca. That Mecca, the name now, is a copy of the real temple which is in Yemen. And the city still exists, Mecca. It Yemen. exists exactly. The temple is still there. I mean, there is not not only of it, but uh, it's a very famous temple. And not only that, for centuries, <laughs> the scholars or the 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 the, uh, the scholars who do history and uh, dig in the ground, and they thought that this temple was for the sun god. And lately, they have to come to the conclusion because they were able to read the the text they were they found, the tablets they found, confirming that this is, was the temple of the La, the moon god, La. So they brought those stones from that temple and they copy, and they call Mecca, Mecca as a copy of that temple. So people will not go and do Hajj all the way to Yemen. Come here, touch the stones. We have the stones here. Those are stones coming from the temple of Mecca. Yes, I was, I was always angry at stones. I, I never liked the idea of stone touching yeah no, uh, Muhammad he said that uh, uh, the black stone and the Yemeni corner whoever touched them it erased his sin that's yes. why you see those poor people they are coming from around the world you will see a person coming from Indonesia I mean how much money Indonesian farmer he make you know too much money wasted and, and yeah, a lot of and he spent all his life saving to do what to make the Saudi rich absolutely because and he all spent all his money, the airline, they will make money, you know, yeah. and Saudi Arabia will take a percentage from it. They will spend money for hotel, they will spend money for food, they will buy gifts for their family, you know, like, you know, you know, like when the Hajji is coming back, you have to bring, you know, gift for everybody from, you know, and the water of Zamzam and Miswak. And, oh my God, you know, that Zamzam as well. It made me sick when I was a child. Oh my God. And they, they, they keep pushing it in your mouth as if it's the cure for everything. And I, yeah. I got sick. Actually, according to the BBC, they found that the the Zamzam have arsenic poison in it. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that because yeah. I, I want but to, but let's focus me and you. You see, uh, mm -hmm. as you see, this is a very clear pagan cult. The name there, I'm not against the name by the way. What if the Muslim they change the name and they make it Jesus? Still, Islam is false. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm not sure. I'm not against Islam because of a name. What if the name of their God is Yahweh? Still, Islam is false. You see, as an example, we have uh, people, they call themselves uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't know mm -hmm. if you heard of them. Yeah, they okay. visit sometimes. Jehovah's Witnesses, they agree with the name of Yeshua. They agree with the name of uh, God. They agree, etc. But for us, they are no Christian. They are not. They have you, the same name, you see. Now, now we have an example. People have the same exact name. What about the Mormon? The Mormon, they have the same exact name for God too. So, but still, they are not Christian. So, for us, we don't care for the name, because any cult can use the name of the true God to make you deceived. So, yeah. but in Islam, the name is not the same. The value is not the same. The ethic is not the same. The nature of God is not the same. Our God is a spirit. Their God is not. Our God can be a man, and He came as a man. Even the Bible says God created Adam in His image. The Muslim, they reject that. Islam teach that God, if you don't commit sin, He will destroy you. Our God teach, if you commit sin, He will be destroyed. Islam says you can, you know, you can lie to your wife, you can lie to your husband, 
you can learn to, in three cases in, in Christianity, Jesus says, either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay. You are not even allowed to take an oath. In Islam, you can take a false oath. You can lie, take a false oath using the name of God in vain. So, yes. so Islam is a proven to be satanic and with the Christ, you are with God. So how, how we recognize God as a Christ? We don't recognize because Jesus will come and he say, I'm Jesus. The Satan can do that. But we will recognize Jesus because he will do what Jesus does. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And what Jesus does is what nobody can do. He is the best in ethic, in love, in mercy, in everything. And he can do a miracle nobody can do. And he don't ask for himself. He don't ask for a privilege. You see, Jesus, I, it's not a secret. All the Christians since the time of Jesus, they worship him, correct? That's right. And if you are a person who's been worshipped, literally, can you imagine how much you can control your followers? Can you imagine Jesus who can raise people from death? How many kings they would love to give all their money and to bring them back to life? Yeah. How much Jesus' money can have? How much power he can have? From such a power he have? If I am the person now, I can make blind people see. How much money I will earn a day? Yeah, I don't think he was after that though. I will find hundreds of thousands every day in front of my house because I just touch their eyes and they can see. So Jesus have a power nobody can have yet. I don't know if you know the story. Jesus, he ordered his disciples. If you don't let me wash your feet, you don't mm -hmm. belong to me. So this is the person who we worship. What he is doing? He said to us, the master is the servant. The one who want to be a master he should be a servant first. So, because he have an extreme love, we worship him. He is the Son of God. He is God on earth. Yet he wore, you know, he wash our feet, and this is how you know who is Jesus. It's not by the name. This is why Jesus said, "From their fruits you shall know them." And I want you to use this in everything in your life, anything, with your friends, mm -hmm. with your family, with the business. You want to know a person? It's not by what he say. Is not by what he claim, not how he dress, not how rich, not how poor. You will know them by their fruits. Absolutely. And that is God, my friend. God is fruits. And the fruit of Jesus is so clear. So when I say to you, I invite you to accept Jesus as your Savior, I'm asking you not only to accept his the person as a name, I'm asking you to accept the person as a fruit. The true God, you have a true fruit. And how we I know him? I've always, I believe I've always believed in the true God, the God of Abraham, Moses, Jacob. Then you have to believe in Jesus. They asked Jesus, you know, when Jesus, he said, they said to him, uh, uh, he, uh, you know, like he said to them, before Abraham, I am. The Jews, they looked at him and says, but you are not even 50 years old. And you claim yet that you are before Abraham? He said, truly, truly, I said to them, before Abraham I am, and Abraham, he saw my day, and he rejoiced. So, he is the God of Abraham. He is the God of all mankind. He is the God who created us, and this is why he came to save us. You see, the Quran says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْإِنسَ وَالْجُنْ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا The reason I created a human being, a human and genie, just to worship. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not, and he don't want worshippers. He won't. God, our Lord, He wants children. He don't want us to be slaves. Like when you call me, you say to me, I hate to be slaves, right? And you hate to be a sex slave. Which, I don't want to be that. With Jesus, you are no slave. The Bible says, in you know, with, uh, 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 talking about Christianity, that there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, there is no free, there is no slaves, for all is one in Jesus. So in Christ, we are free. We don't look at person he is a slave as a slave he is my brother in christ we don't look at a person he is black that he is black or he is white or he's an asian he or she they are my brother in christ so jesus he free you and he level you not only as a human he made you a child of god so you need to choose ask yourself which one i we should follow there's many religions mm -hmm. there's one only he consider you a child of god you see, I call myself a Christian prince, but I'm not, a, I'm not a son of a king, but I'm a child of God. 
every one of us is a prince and princess God he level you up he call your child my child when we, we pray do you know what we say Doc, do you have an idea what, what a Christian when they say when they pray no not really. they say our father our father not our God why do you see how how warm the relationship between us and our Creator when we pray yeah. We are not like, you know, God, he can say, you have to bow down, you have it, it's a, I will destroy you, God, please God, you know. Look how loving he is. You know, you pray to me, you say, our Father. It's like, you know, a very peaceful conversation between children and their father. They don't need fear to love him. The God of Islam is based on fear. Fear and That's reward. Right. The God of Christianity the, the, the fear is only you decide to leave him. This is your, you choose it, not me. It's not my choice. So you pray to me, you talk to me, say to me, our Father, we thank you. We thank what you gave us. We thank you for the bread. Forgive to us as the same as we forgive to others. And even when you pray, speaking to the Father, calling him Father, you think about forgiving others before you ask the Father to forgive you. So our father here, he doing the opposite of what the God of Muhammad and they do. The God of Muhammad and he wants you to seek revenge. The Quran says, Yash fi sudur. So they will the, 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 go and kill them and torture them. That will heal your chest. For Jesus, forgive them, forgive them, like forgive us, Father, the same as we forgive to others. Actually, so, um, that that saying of, of Jesus where um, love thy enemy or turn the other cheek. In fact, Muslims see it as extreme weakness. Exactly. You see, this is uh, the fact. It's an extreme, extreme power strength, exactly. and strength. Yeah. Because it's easy for me. I have, you know, everybody knows. I am. I lack weapon. You know, I, I have a hobby. Uh, uh, I, I can. I can be driven by my anger and then start shooting people. But this is me. This is mean. I'm weak, not strong. That's a right. wise man. The wise man. The wise women. Is the one who control themselves and don't let the devil drive them so the the wise man is the one who fight evil as much as he can by wisdom so when I say to somebody oh you know he insulted me okay God bless you sometimes me myself I you know like I have a difficulty to do that why because my anger my anger is taken <laughs> over and then I will not be really practicing as Jesus said so uh, uh, if you say to a person he's coming, he is angry, he want to fight you bless you my friend, okay, good, no problem uh, you know, the F word to you, etc you are a coward, okay my friend, bless you the guy himself, he will be ashamed you know what I mean you did not yeah. feed, you did not feed his evil Yeah. if you answer back, oh you, etc and then you will, you will find yourself feeding the evil you know, here when I debate Muslims they make me angry, they provoke me I do refute them using their logic. I, I will speak rude to them, but not because I like to be rude, but I use their logic to show them how stupid they are. But the thing is, with, with, with the people that argue with you, because I've heard a few of the arguments, because this is what we were taught, uh, si simple words that we were memorized, there is no other, there is no logic. They hear a person like Bedat, um, Zakir Naik, whatever, whatever they teach us at schools, These uh, this is the how you dispute them this is what you say they memorized it so when you come up with something they didn't come across they become angry which actually one of the reasons why many like me left in a sense is because there's nothing there's no logic it's it's repeated and repeated repeated again and again i've been hearing the same arguments since i was five yeah you know, there's nothing so, so what do you what do you think about like you know uh if there is something like preventing you from accepting Jesus as your savior, I'm really interested tonight Honestly, that before I, you leave, I, that you accept Jesus. I will do my best to help you if I can. I, what I need is a prayer because honestly, as, as I said earlier, I have children and my, it's, it's my, very, my, my sister, we will pray for you from all our heart. And the Bible says a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for a one person he was saved. So what about you and your children? How many children you have? I have two. You have two children. We pray that the Lord, that He will keep you healthy, taking care of them, 
growing in, in front of your eyes. We pray to the Lord to open your heart, to come to Him, to believe in Him, to save yourself and to save your children, to be in His kingdom. So when His kingdom come, you will be there. We pray to the Lord that right now you accept Jesus, and right now you open your heart. And if you have any question for me, don't be shy. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to wash your feet, the same as Jesus, He washed our feet. Not because we are slaves, not because we are hypocrite, but because we are real. Servant is who is a Christ is, yet he is God. And if my Lord was a servant, who am I? So my sister, I ask you to accept Jesus. For today you might go to sleep and you don't wake up. Or tomorrow might come and you are not there. I know what you're asking me and I'm, I'm so grateful and honored with all the love that you showed me and all your followers as well. I just, I just, for now, I need prayers because um, this is the thing that you always talk about, the terrorism of, of, of Muslims, right? Yeah. Um, and my children have a Muslim father, and I... <laughs> my sister, don't worry about the, 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 what the people can do. There's God, there is, there, is, there is a protector. He knew who you are. He knew your name. He knew where you live. He will be with you. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Do you know how many people hate me? Oh my God, millions. <laughs> but millions Do you think I'm worried. really worried? Do you think when I walk in the street, I look behind me? I don't. I don't. You know? So I, I, I do appreciate that, but also I appreciate that no one knows what um, it feels like to be a woman in the Islamic community. I understand. I understand. But which one is more important for you? Worrying about people or worrying about your salvation and your children's? Yes, this is why I, I, I whatever I believe, I, I will keep to myself. Because... All right. So you, you are saying you will not say, you prefer not to say in public? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I understand. So I understand you, who you, what you believe now. <laughs> well, we are happy for you. I'm really happy. You know, I, I'm not going to say what happened now. People know. But you see, I, 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 I want you to have faith. Faith is power, a superpower. I am weak only when my faith is weak. I am not weak because, uh, uh, you know, like a, a person, he might be, uh, you might be short, you might be tall, you might be strong by muscles, you might have, uh, uh, you, you play uh, martial art, but this is not what makes you strong or weak. Mm -hmm. Faith is the secret of being strong. Yep. When a when a when little ant, little ant, she keep going and backward, forward, backward, forward. You ask yourself what she is carrying. I mean, come on, this is really annoying. Don't she get tired? But the ant, she go to work every day, doing yep. what she should do. That's how if, I feel every day. If and an ant, if an ant, she is more successful to build a colony. Don't you think you can build a colony? of your own you will be the queen of your own and your children they will live like princes or prince prince i really hope so because i cannot see them marrying these people you I can really you can especially if you live abroad you don't live in a muslim country so mm -hmm. you, you can you can earn your freedom you know in the west it's very easy if a, if a man he threatens you you can call the police in two seconds they will be there yeah you know so don't worry about anyone don't worry about anyone, and we will put you in our prayer. And Thank you. Uh, I will ask everyone here. Uh, you know, I cannot say. I don't even look at your name. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but we ask our 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 uh, our our fr friends here, our family, sisters, brothers, to pray to our sister here. She have two beautiful children. She, you know, uh, she need your prayer. I cannot say more. And you can tell already what she believe in. So, sister, I'm really happy to have you today. If there's thank anything so I can answer you, um, I think you've done um, a lot, and um, I hope I can call you another time. With, anytime, with anytime. And if you have any of your family, uh, sisters, brothers, they like to like you know uh, to join and have a conversation with me. Maybe we can help them to leave Islam too. I will be uh, so happy to serve them humbly and to help them. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm the only one. All right. Well, you never know. You know, you see, the 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 one uh, you know, like a seed of wheat, will ma will make the field full, right? 
So don't they, yeah. don't think you are only one. I was I was a uh, you know when I started doing this, my English is funny, and then now it's not really that good. And uh, uh, you know, like if you if you ask yourself, I mean, how in the world this guy even is going to reach out to millions? It's, it doesn't make sense, right? And then, mm. uh, then you know, then you will find yourself because you have faith, yeah. because you are strong, because you have faith. The faith is your strength, because you have faith that you know what? Maybe I don't speak good English. Maybe I'm a foreigner. Maybe I'm a stranger. Maybe I am an immigrant. Maybe people will make fun of me. But who care? If I save one person, bring him to Christ, I'm victorious. So it's this nice is what make me successful. Is not, is not about me being strong. It's about me being faithful. And if I can save one person, bring him to Christ. How beautiful is that? Actually, when I first discovered you, I was at college, and I was with, with an Arab friend, a, la a lady, in fact. And I was listening to you, and it was a very funny conversation that you were having with a fellow Arab. And, and she said to me, don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to this guy. He, he will set you astray. <laughs> he, will, he will lead you astray. Don't, don't open the door for this. You remind, and, me and of, that, uh, you remind me of Quran, chapter 5, verse 101 and verse 102. It says, ask not questions, and it says verse 102, because for my generation, ask the same question, and they left the faith. <laughs> right. From that pushing, I wasn't going to listen to the whole thing. I was literally ha just having a break. But because of all this pushing, I was like, you know what? I, I need to hear this. And that was a few years ago. Um, so do you, do you listen to me like almost every day, like when I go live? Um, I'm I'm extremely busy, but when when I do, I actually do listen to the whole thing. And sometimes I fall asleep listening to you. To be honest, yeah. I fall I, I fall asleep listening to myself too. <laughs> <laughs> is is that is is that okay? You fall asleep when you listen to me. Is that because I'm boring or what? <laughs> no, it's because I'm tired and I don't want to listen to anything else. I don't yeah, want to watch no, movie or anything. You see, I I always joke about myself because I am confident and I have faith. So, like yeah. some people, they will be offended if you, you know, you know but for me, nothing will offend me really because I know who I am I, and actually, I know what I stand for. Please don't be because for me to fall asleep in, in the scenario that I'm, I'm living in, it's very hard. So, for me to fall asleep, that means I'm feeling peace. It wasn't. That's it's exactly, the yeah, that's good. You see, like always, uh, you know, uh, there is, there is, uh, if you watch a horror movie, you will not be able to sleep all night, even though exactly. you want to sleep, you are tired. But if you have something peaceful and some, and you know, always our program is fun, is uh, you know, full of joy, and, and uh, joy. in the same time, we teach people how to use their brain, how to think, you know, like how to refute, how to answer, how to use the silly, uh, the, the silly smart logic, because the silly one always think that he is smart, but the second we answer him, he turned to be so silly. Uh, so here people they enjoy it more because we have a special kind of conversation and normal and I'm very very uh, like uh, let us say I don't sugarcoat like many uh, there is many they, they have to speak in certain language and I for me I don't say I they, I say it as it is I don't care who like it or don't like it I, I think by I now you know I know yeah That's and, what I and this is why this is why you know people they enjoy because this is a truthful conversation not uh, like a uh, fake, you know, like in TV, you know, here is here we have a real thing, real talk. It's definitely real. Um, I don't know you, you don't know me. I literally just created the Skype right now just to talk to you. I felt the need to talk to you, and um, yeah, there's definitely no fakeness here. Thank you very much for being here. Well, anytime you would like to call, feel free if you like to share with us, and if you invite, if you can bring friends or anyone. Have a question about Islam so we can help them to live Islam. I will be happy to have them. Thank you so much and thank you for your followers for all the nice prayers. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care. Bye. All right. So please don't forget to pray to our sister here and to her family. Uh, you know that the Lord He will uh, He will walk them with His mercy and love, will protect her children's. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, to 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 keep her in in the right place, 
because the devil always is there. We have, you know, we believe in in, in, in devil, right? A devil is exist. You know, we believe he's exist. But the, the devil always have a place if we let him have a place. If we have vacancies in our chairs. So if you allow the devil to have a, to have a place in your house, then the devil will be there, not without your permission. So we pray that this lady, she will be able always to stand against the devil and she will overcome her weakness because I can feel like she, she feel a weakness. And, you know, this is very normal. You know, Middle Eastern women, they are under a lot of stress. Uh, they are treated differently. They always put them down. They treat them as not only as like second citizen or third. They are. They treat them as no citizen. She is just a like a, an, an object to use and abuse. So her weakness is coming from long abuse, let us say, long lifetime abuse. But I say to our sister here, you know, walk with Jesus, and Jesus will give you strength. And by His name, we pray that nobody will be able to abuse you ever again, and you will be victorious. Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? No turning back No turning back The cross before me The world behind me The cross before me The world behind me the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow Though none go